Well, Jamie Driscoll is the independent mayor for the north of Tyne region and joins us now from Jarrow. He resigned from the Labour Party last summer after being blocked from running for another mayoral role. Thanks very much for coming on the programme, Jamie Driscoll. I mean, Keir Starmer is doing what he said he would do, which is to impose discipline on his party, isn't he? Well, discipline has to be consistent, and that's the issue. But is this really discipline? Or would this have all been swept under the carpet if the Daily Mail hadn't released it? And, and that's what I'm concerned about. You know, it worries me. There's a lot of very good people in the Labour Party who've been consistent campaigners against racism in all its forms. But I'll give you another, another example. A Labour candidate running against me in the North East has an anti-GRT, Gypsy Roma Traveller, mm. tweet out there. There's been complaints in the Labour Party by many people. It's been swept under the carpet. Nothing heard about for six months. And if you're going to try to lead the country, mm. you have to give people okay. confidence. Okay. We look at what's happened from the Conservative government with Boris Johnson lying and trying to cover up all the things yeah. around the, the COVID parties. Then, you know, people need confidence in their government. And I think my role right. is to protect them. We can't, we can't hear from the candidate that you just mentioned. So let's stick to Graham Jones and Azza Ali. I mean... Even if there was an accusation that it took them some time to get, you know, to suspend Azza Ali on Graham Jones, they were being very consistent, weren't they? I mean, it just took a couple of hours. Well, that's it. And that, that feeds into this narrative that you only get action when something is a hot story in the press. We need long-term decision-making to solve the problems that Britain's facing, whether they're to do with economic growth and the U-turn on the 28 billion of green investments or any other of the problems that we're facing. And if we only see action when it becomes a hot political issue, where is the confidence in a future government? And I do think they are going to be the government. And, you know, I'm no, I'm no fan of this. But isn't that the point? Like... Isn't that the point, um, Jamie Driscoll? He wants to impose discipline on his party because he knows what the cost of not doing that in looks like from previous elections. And he wants to get into power. And at the moment, that is the most important consideration. No, I don't think we are seeing discipline. I think we're seeing a huge amount of inconsistency, a huge amount of, of factional fighting. If you look at my record in the North East, creating over 5,000 jobs, building over 2,000 homes, all without putting a penny on the council tax, that would have been a fantastic example for getting into power of Labour's fiscal responsibility. But instead, I was blocked for factional reasons. Mm. So. This isn't actually about doing the right thing. And so many people are disenchanted with politics at the moment. We just want someone to tell the truth. It would have been far better if they'd said, if they'd come out and said, look, we made a mistake, we didn't know about this guy, it's just wrong, we're blocking him. And when you see Kate Osamor blocked for saying that there should not be a, a, a genocide in Gaza, which the International Court of Justice okay. is also saying, then in there is this huge double standard. All right, in 10, in 10 seconds, would you encourage those people who've been suspended also as running as independent candidates like you? I think we're going to see that. We're seeing it already. Um, I think uh, is it Andrew Feinstein's running against Keir Starmer. Um, we're seeing Emma Dan Code mm -hmm. running in Kensington. Um, I think there's, there's a lot. There's a lot in local government where Labour's under pressure.